One day, you're just minding your business in your new apartment. You've just paid off all of your father's debts. Finally, you can relax. Then, a spaceship crashes into your ceiling. And what comes out of the spaceship? A guy. And yes, he's attractive and everything, but... Oh god, are those tentacles? Hi everyone, today I'm going to be giving my first thoughts on the BR webtoon Love in Orbit, which is available to read on Legend. At the time of writing this script, I've read 22 chapters, which were all that were available at the time, but I think that there are now 23 or 24, it depends on how fast I can edit this video. Anyway, Love in Orbit follows the story of our main character, Sohan, who is a normal dude with parents who have abandoned him. And he's just living his life normally when he meets the guy who's just landed in his roof. A half human, half alien. The first thing that you learn about this alien guy is that he's quite arrogant. The second thing that you learn about him is that he's a bit... <coughs> odd. This alien guy, Siwa, basically forces Sohan to let him stay in his house. We learn that Siwa is on a mission to find his human father and kill him. And the only clue he has is his father's student ID card from 20 years ago. Sohan agrees to help the alien find his dad because after the alien is done killing him and stuff, maybe it means that Sohan will finally be left in peace. Also, Sohan doesn't really have any choice because Siwa says that unless Sohan helps him, he'll just wipe out the entire human race. So as you can see, <laughs> Siwa is like totally not unhinged. He's like totally rational and everything. Okay, in all seriousness though, Siwa is actually extremely entertaining. I mean, yes, he is rude, he's mean and impulsive, but there's something so entertaining about reading about a character who just doesn't care at all. Yes, he does call Sohan words like ugly and uggo, but I actually find that extremely endearing. Maybe it's because I have a thing for Cinderay guys slash guys who are low-key verbally abusive. <laughs> but I think that it's more the anticipation that despite Siwa saying all of these rude things, we know that later in the webtoon, after they develop feelings for each other and fall in love, Siwa won't find Sohan ugly at all. In fact, he'll find him beautiful. Another thing about Siwa is that we slowly learn about his backstory and actually it's pretty compelling. So yeah, he is definitely rude, but it's not like he had the best childhood growing up either. As for our main character Sohan, truthfully, I don't think he's as interesting as Siwa. I guess that's kind of obvious because he's just a run-of-the-mill human, whereas Siwa is an alien. And yes, Sohan does have a sad backstory that kind of shows how he relates to Siwa and kind of understands his feelings, but I think I need to learn more about Sohan to properly get attached to him. We do have some super cute side characters though. In addition to the main couple, we have two more who accompany them on their mission to find Siwa's dad. First is Pippi, who was this cute animal thing with tentacles. Yeah, I'll admit that the tentacles are still kind of <laughs> weird to me, but you can't deny that Pippi is so cute. Next we have Garbin, who is Sohan's landlord, super rich and obsessed with sci-fi movies. He loves Pippi because Pippi resembles a character from one of his favourite movies. Yeah, the friendship they have is so cute. The plot is engaging enough for me to read as much as I did. I wasn't super invested, but the latest development in the story has piqued my interest. Another thing I have to talk about is the romance between Sohan and Siwa. Although I can't really call it a romance, more like intense physical attraction with hints of emotion. See, this is one of those spicy BR webtoons, and that's fine, except I just feel like they have spicy times for no reason. I wish there was more tension and more of a slow burn before they got to doing it, but that's just my preference. Some people might like the more insta-lust aspects of it. Anyway, that concludes my first impressions and initial thoughts about Love in Orbit. If you have any recommendations for what webtoon I should read next, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching! Bye!